Welcome everyone to 10 minutes math. This is EDXL January 2021 Mathematics Pure Mathematics B2 WMA 1201. Solar panel are installed on the roof of the building. The power be produced on the particular day in kilowatt can be modeled by the equation this is the equation where t is bigger than or equal to 8.5 and less than or equal to 15.5 where t is the time in hour after midnight the graph of b against t in show in figure one a table of the value of t and b are shown below which is value of b given for significant figure so for significant figure as the given equation complete a table given the value of b to four significant figures. Let us start. So we need to write this equation. So we have 0 0.95 plus t shift power plus 2 power. Now t will be x. So alpha back to x. Minus 12 plus 2 power 12 minus alpha vector x minus alpha vector x minus 12 all squared now let's try 10.5 first so calc 10.5 so it's equal to 1.882 so the equation is right now calc 10 equal 1.2 so we have here 1.20 and then again calc 11 to check so it's equal to 2.45 right now calc 11.5 2.82 okay now The amount of energy in kilowatt hour produced between 10 to 12 can be found by the calculation the area of the region R shown sheeted in figure. Use trapezium rules which all the value of B in the completed table to find an estimate for the amount of energy produced from 10 to 12 given answer to two decimal place. So trapezium rules we need to find the H so between here and here 0 0.5 and here to here 0 0.5 so h is equal to 0 0.5 so area is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 2 open the bracket the first the first part which is 1.2 plus the last one 2.95 plus 2 multiplied by in between 1.882 plus 2.45 plus 2.82 and then close the bracket so let us find this value to decimal place so it's equal to area equal to 0 0.5 divided by 2 multiply open the bracket and then 1.2 plus 2.95 plus 2 and then open the second bracket 1.882 plus 2.45 plus 2.82 
close the first bracket and then the second bracket equal to 4.6135 4.6135 I need two decimal place so 4.61 kilowatt hour and this is the answer of the question let us go ahead a sequence a1 a2 a3 is defined by a n plus 1 is equal to this one and a1 is equal to this part where b is a constant find expression for a2 in term of v given your answer in the simplest form to find the a2 we need to add n equal to 1 so this is part a for n equal to 1 a n n plus 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 equal to 2 a 1 plus 3 squared minus 7 a 1 is b minus 3 so a 2 will equal to 2 b minus 3 plus 3 squared minus 7 because b a 1 is equal to b minus 3 so this part is this part so a2 is equal to 2b squared minus 7 and this is the answer of the first part given that summation from n to equal to 1 to 3 a n is equal to b plus 15 find the possible value of a2 so we need to find the a3 and then we find the sub summation and they make the summation equal to b plus 15 so to start to solve this part now this is part b we need a3 so we put n equal to 2 so in the upper equation here we will have a3 is equal to 2 a2 plus 3 squared minus 7 a2 is given from this equation so a3 will equal to 2 a2 which is 2 b squared minus 7 plus 3 squared minus 7 so a3 is equal to 2 2 b squared minus 4 squared minus 7 so a3 is equal to 2 here we have 4 b power 4 minus 2 multiplied by 4 it's 8 8 multiplied by 2 16 b squared minus 4 squared is equal to 16 so plus 16 minus 7 so it's equal to 8 b power 4 minus 2 multiplied by 16 32 b squared and then plus 2 32 minus 7 so a3 will equal to 8 b power 4 minus 3 32 b squared plus 25 now a1 plus a2 plus a3 so a1 plus a2 plus a3 is equal to a1 is equal to b minus 3 a1 is equal to b minus 3 b minus 3 plus a2 is equal to 2b squared minus 7 so plus 2b squared minus 7 plus 8b power 4 minus 32b squared plus 25 so the summation will equal to 8b power 4 now we have minus 32 and plus 2 so minus 30b2 and then we have here b so plus b and then 22 25 minus 10 plus 15 
plus 15. This part was equal to as given in the question. It's equal to here b plus 15. b plus 15. b plus 15. So we can do like this now. This part 15 was 15, b was b. So the remaining will be 8b power 4 minus 30b squared is equal to 0. So from here, let us take b squared as a common factor. So the remaining will be 8b squared minus 30 equal to 0. So now b squared equal to 0 or 8b squared minus 30 equal to 0. So from here b is equal to 0 and this is the first answer. Second one, 8b squared is equal to 30. So b squared is equal to 30 divided by 8. So divided by 2 is equal to 4 divided by 2 is equal to 15. So 15 divided by 4. So b is equal to plus or minus square root of 15 divided by 4. And this is the second equation. He need a2. a2 is equal to b squared minus 7. So now a2 is equal to, for b equal to 0. So we have 0 minus 7. So a2 is equal to minus 7. Okay. And then for b equal to plus or minus square root of 15, a2 will equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 15 divided by 4 squared minus 7. So it's equal to multiplier by 15 divided by 4 minus 7. So divided by 2 equal to 2. So 7.5 minus. So it will be 7.5 A2 is equal to 7.5 minus 7. So it's equal to 0 0.5, which is half. So A2 is equal to minus 7 and half. And this is the answer of the question. Okay, let us go ahead to another question. A circle C has the equation x minus k squared plus y minus 2k squared equal to k plus 7, where k is a positive constant. Write down in term of k the coordinate of the center and the radius of C. So the center... is equal to negative k, negative negative k, so it's k, and here negative negative 2k, so it's three, it will be 2k, and this is the answer of the first part. Radius r is equal to square root of k plus one, 7, k plus 7, and this is the answer of the second part. Now, given that the point B equal to 2, 3, and 3 lie on C, show that 5k squared minus 17k plus 6 equal to 0. So, let us go ahead. So, point B, which is 2 and 3, lie on the circle. So, I can write now the equation of the circle. 2 minus k squared plus 3 minus 2k squared equal to k plus 7. So let me simplify this equation. We will have 4 minus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2, 4k plus k squared plus here 9 minus 2 multiplied by 3, 6, 6 multiplied by 2, 2, 12. 12k and then plus 4k squared equal to k plus 7. So now we have 4k squared plus k squared 5k squared. 
and minus twelve minus four minus sixteen, and then nine plus four thirteen was equal to k plus seven. Let me bring this value this side, so we will have five k squared minus we have sixteen minus one minus seventeen k, and then thirteen minus 13 minus 7 equal to plus 6, so plus 6 equal to 0, and this is the answer of the question, okay, let us go ahead, hence find the possible value of k, remember he said that k is a positive constant, okay, so let us go ahead, this is part double i, this is the equation, let us bring our calculator, so menu 5 and then 3 we have 5 equal minus 17 equal and then 6 k minus 3 5 k minus 2 are equal to 0 so k is equal to 3 and the k is equal to 2 over 5 and this is the answer of the question let us go ahead the tension to the circle at b intersect the x-axis at point t given that k less than 2 calculate the exact area of the triangle obt now this is a given data point b is 2 and 3 which is this point so this is b 2 and 3 we know that k is less than 2, so we'll take k is equal to 2 and 2 over 5. This is point to O. The tangent cut the x-axis as point T. He need this area, P, O, T. Okay. The center of the circle some, somewhere here. This is the center. Let us find the center. Center will equal to k and 2k so it's equal to 2 over 5 and 4 over 5 so this is the center of the circle okay now we know that the tangent m tangent multiplied by m radius is equal to minus 1 because the radius perpendicular to the tangent if this is the radius so the radius will be perpendicular to the tangent Okay, so we need the uh, we need the the gradient of the radius. So we know point B is equal to two and three. So now m radius is equal to y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. So we will have from here. 3 minus 4 over 5 divided by 2 minus 2 over 5. So the gradient of the tangent will equal to menu 1. 3 minus 4 over 5 divided by 2 minus 2 over 5. So 11 over 8. So 11 over 8. So m tangent will equal to 8 over 11 and minus. So now the equation of the tangent y equal to mx plus c. So y tangent will equal to m which is minus 8 over 11 x plus c the point 2 and the 3 satisfy this equation so 3 is equal to minus 8 divided by 11 multiplied by 2 plus c so from here c will equal to 3 plus so 3 plus 16 over 11 so 49 
divided by 11. So the equation of the tangent is equal to minus 8 over 11 x plus 49 divided by 11. Now at point T, I need x at point T. So at y equal to at y equal to 0 in this equation equal to minus 8 divided by 11 x plus 49 divided by 11 so let me put this one this side so minus 8 divided by 11 x is equal to 49 divided by 11 negative so this value is this value this my negative this negative so x is equal to 49 divided by 8 so x is equal to 49 divided by 8 so the data we have from this triangle now this point is equal to 49 divided by 8 it means that this distance from here 49 divided by 8 which is the base of the triangle and here the height of the triangle which is the, the y coordinate of b which is 3 so the area of the triangle is equal to half base multiplied by height and the height here is 3 so area of the triangle is equal to half multiplied by 3 multiplied by 49 divided by 8 so it's equal to 49 divided by 8 by 3 by half so 147 divided by 16 I need the exact value so this is the answer of the question let us go ahead to another one. In this question, you must show detailed reasons. On want to train for 12 weeks in preparation for running a marathon. During a 12 week period, he will run every Sunday and every Wednesday. On Sunday in week one, he will run 15 kilometers. In Sunday, in week two, in week twelve, he will run thirty-seven kilometers. He considered two different twelve-week running plans. In, tra in training plan A, he will increase the distance he run each Sunday by same amount by same amount of semantic series. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday. In week 5 under training plan A. So arithmetic series here is the A. Here is at U, uh, U12. Okay, so A is U1. And D, I don't know. He needs U5. Okay, he needs this one. So let us start. So this is part A. A is equal to 15 and U12 is equal to 37. And D I don't know and it's arithmetic series. So we have UN is equal to A and A plus plus N minus 1. D so we have a is equal to 15 so 37 will equal to a is 15 plus 12 minus 1 multiplied by D so from here D is equal to 37 minus 15 divided by 12 minus 1 so d is equal to 2 so now u5 
is equal to a which is 15 plus 5 minus 1 multiplied by 2. So it's 15 plus 4 multiplied by 2. So it's u5 is equal to 23. And this is the answer of the question. In training plan B, he will increase the distance he run each Sunday by the same percentage, same percentage geometric series. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under the training plan B, given your answer in kilometer in one decimal place. So geometric series. So now this is part B. So geometric series in plan B, so UN is equal to ARN minus 1, where A again is 15 and U12 is equal to 37. So now 37 is equal to 15 multiplied by R, which is the common ratio, and N12 minus 1. So now R is equal to r bar 11 is equal to 37 divided by 15 so from here r is equal to the 11 roots of 37 divided by 15 now u5 is equal to 15 r bar 4 which is 5 minus 5 by minus 1 so it's 15 37 divided by 15 R4. So U5 is equal to, let us find this answer. So we have 15 and then open the bracket. Shift square uh, third root and then delete 11. And then we go inside here 37 divided by 15. And then we go here and then we close the bracket power 4 so 20.829 20.829 20 you need one decimal place so u5 is equal to 20.8 kilometer and this is the answer of the question let us go ahead to another part on will also run fixed distance x kilometer each Wednesday over 12 weeks period given that x is an integer. The total distance that on will run on, sun, on Sundays and Wednesdays over the 12 weeks will not exceed the 360 kilometer. Find the maximum value of x if used training plan A and define the maximum value of x if using tra uh, training plan B. So let us see now. Now this is C part I. Arithmetic series A is equal to 50 and D is equal to 2. The summation of the whole distance all is equal to 360. Now the summation of S12 is equal to according to the summation of N first, summation of N. So Sn which is the summation for the arithmetic series is equal to N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. So S12 which is the total the total distance equal to 12 divided by 2, 2 multiplied by 15 plus 12 minus 1 which is 11 multiplied by 2. So this value is equal to 6 open the bracket 2 multiplied by 15 plus 11 multiplied by 2. 312. So this is the maximum in the Sundays and this is the maximum or the total. So total distance 
in Wednesday will equal to 360 minus 312. So it's equal to 360 minus, minus answer. So 48 kilometer. So in each Wednesday will equal to 48 divided by 12 because there will be 12 Wednesday. So 48 divided by 12, 4 kilometer. So the maximum value, maximum value x kilometer each Wednesday for plan A is equal to 4 kilometer and this is the first part of the question the second part in the plan B so again this is the arithmetic series, the geometric series for the part B we know that Sn is equal to a r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So now S12 will equal to 15 r power 12 minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So it's equal to, let us now define the value of r. So we have shift here and then delete 11. And inside we add 37 divided by 15. So r is equal to 1.08955. So now we can write now 15 multiplier by open the bracket answer power 12 minus 1 close the bracket divided by open the bracket no need answer minus 1 so it's equal to 214 294.2 294.2 kilometer so again in Wednesday, total Wednesday was equal to 360 minus 294.2. So it's equal to 360 minus answer 65.8, 65.8 kilometer. So each x each Wednesday was equal to 65.8 divided by 12 so it's equal to this part divided by 12 5.48 5.48 kilometer according to the question he said that x is integer so maximum value of x each Wednesday for plan B was equal to 5 kilometers and this is the answer of this part